welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to continue looking at ratio and proportion and in today's video i'm going to look at equivalent ratio uh, multiplication okay so i'm going to look at equivalent ratios and i'm going to look at multiplication okay so <clears throat> under this topic i'm going to find ratios using multiplication okay so uh, I'm going to use these four questions to demonstrate how you can find uh, ratios using multiplication. Okay, so question one, we have got 2.5 to 3. 2.5 to 3. Okay, so this is the ratio we have. So uh, what, what, what we can do is we can get these two numbers, then multiply them by a common number or by a same number okay in this case i'm going to choose two i'm going to multiply two by 2.5 and two by three or i'm going to multiply 2.5 by two and three by two okay so what i'm saying is i'm going to multiply uh, that 2.5 multiplied by two two uh three multiplied by two so when I mod I find the product of those which of those numbers in the brackets, 2.5 multiplied by 2 will give us 5. 2, then 3 multiplied by 2 will give us 6. Okay, then that is the answer. Now, the ratio which is 2.5 to 3 is equivalent to 5 to 6. Okay, the ratio 2.5 5 to 3 is equivalent to 5 to 6. Okay, now I have found the equivalent ratio of 2.5 to 3. Okay, now let's go to um, question 2. Question 2, we have got 0 0.8 to 0 0.4. Okay, 0 0.8 to 0 0.4. <clears throat> so to find the equivalent ratio, of this of this of this ratio what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply by 10 so that i get rid of the decimal point so i'm going to multiply uh, 10 multiply by 10 multiply by 0 0.8 to 0 0.4 multiply by 10 so 10 multiply by 0 0.8 will give us 8 2 0 0.4 multiplied by 10 will give us 4. Okay, so now the ratio 0 0.8 to 0 0.4 is equivalent to 8 to 4. 0 0.8 to 0 0.4 is equivalent to 8 to 4. Okay, so these two ratios are equivalent. So uh, 0 0.8 uh, 0 0.8 to 0 0.4 is equivalent to 8 to 4 okay now we go to question 3 question 3 we have got 2 to 5 then we are supposed to find the ratio of the equivalent ratio of 2 to 5 so what we're going to do is I'm going to multiply both numbers by 3 so 2 by 3 will give us 6 okay then 2 5 by 3 will give us 15 so the ratio 2 to 5 is equivalent to 6 to 15 2 to 5 is equivalent to 6 to 15 Okay, let's go to question number four. The last one. Question number four, we have got 1.2 to 2.4. That's the ratio we have. So we need to find the equivalent ratio of uh, this ratio. So even here, I can multiply by 10 to get rid of the decimal numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah, the decimal number. So what we're going to do is we want to come up with a whole number. So I'm going to multiply 1.2 multiplied by 10 will give us 12. 
will give us 12. Then 2.4 multiplied by 10 will give us, so which will be 12 to, then 2.4 multiplied by 10 will give us 24. So 1.2 to 2.4 is equivalent to 12 to 24. So these two ratios now are equivalent. So basically this is how you can uh, find the equivalent ratio of any given ratio by multiplying. Thank you so much for watching. It has been easy learning Z mathematics. The future is bright. See you in the next video and God bless you.